Welcome to this in in-depth video where we'll explore the functionality of Gyroflow. Gyroflow is a revolutionary video stabilization application that uses the gyroscope data. Cameras like GoPro or DJI automatically embed this gyroscope data into the video file. Just drag and drop your video into Gyroflow and that's it. Your video is seamlessly stabilized. Now, you might be wondering about all these settings we see. The interface might seem a bit overwhelming at first, but there are actually just a few key areas we need to focus on. There are essentially four main setting blocks. The first one, synchronization, can generally be ignored since our video is already synced with the gyroscope points. If you do encounter any stabilization errors, you might want to retry the auto sync. Moving on to stabilization, for field of view, you can leave it at one if you don't want to over zoom or avoid strange black edges. Smoothness controls the degree of stabilization applied. If your video has dynamic, acrobatic movements, you might want to reduce the smoothness and zoom speed to prevent gyroflow from zooming in too much. An extremely important feature is Lock Horizon. This locks the horizon, creating an effect similar to a classic drone gimbal. Lock Horizon is especially useful for interior and architectural shots. I'll be turning this on for our demo. The rest of the settings can be left at their defaults. Then we have export settings. Here, you can decide on the format for exporting. My advice is to opt for a format that allows good quality in post-production, like H.265 with a bit rate around 100, or standard ProRes to maintain any potential 10-bit color depth. In the advanced section, the main thing to ensure is that use GPU decoding is checked and that the device for video processing is correctly configured. Now we're ready to stabilize our clip. Another great feature of this app is its ability to process multiple files simultaneously. By clicking the arrow next to export, you can add your video to the render queue. You can view files waiting to be synchronized and edit each video individually. Plus, you can apply the adjusted settings to all items in the queue. Super useful when working with similar footage. An important tip, by clicking on queue settings, you can adjust the number of parallel exports. With a high-end computer, handling four renders simultaneously is a breeze. I hope you found this video helpful. If you liked it, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel for more useful tips and tutorials. Ciao. Oh,